Hi guys, and today we're going to be doing a review of this, the Fujifilm S4200. Now it's a pretty new camera, I'm not sure, sure the exact date for it, it's like 2014 maybe or something. But we're going to be doing a review about it, so I'm going to come down here and we're going to do a review about it. So, so the first thing is to turn it on. So, turn it on. It should come up and look you can see me hi and then actually I think it it's got 24 times optical zoom and it's got 6.4 digital zoom I think and then actually if you zoom it out it shows you all like the millimeters it's hard for the camera to focus there and that actually zooms in really far on this. So, if you all look in there, look. See how far that's zoomed in at me. Then, zoom it back out. And it's just like that. Right, so, it actually does have here on the top. It's got camera. It's got SR Auto. Sport. Panora video that's in 180p it's got i don't actually know what these are i googled it and it said it didn't say anything but i usually have it on this so like low light and then i have an sr auto for like daytime normal pictures and it does have like loads of different buttons here so you've got you've got like the menu the, the tiny information menu thing the grids and that then look you, your images would come up here see it look press the shutter button to go back so you would press the shutter button it would go back to take a picture it's that and to zoom it's that you've got the power on button you've got burst and that's portrait you've got another menu and then you've got the flash i won't show you it obviously because it might blind you if you like watch it on a big screen and then you've got like so you can see it through here kind of there and then that's sort of it really i mean it does actually shoot in f at 14 megapixels which isn't bad it comes with a strap and all you do is turn it off and it's instantly off turn it on like that straight on if you do put the batteries in first which it will take rechargeables you can get like duracells or anything then it will need them you can charge them up by a charger and that and the first time like you put the batteries in if you just put the batteries in you need to set the date and time and that's kind of it really for this Fujifilm S4000. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Also click the bell to get all my notifications and I'll catch you in another video. Bye!